The objectives of the chair are to develop references for dairy farmers operating in Thai soil systems. We wanted to offer a range of choices so that the farmer has several options at his disposal and can choose what is the wisest to install at home. It was a few years back and we had some teeth crashed in the last year that was probably due to a lack of dividers that disappeared over time. Another motivation was also to give comfort to the animals because the mats were very old. In front, we have raised the feeding area. We added a ceramic where we feed the animals. We have raised and pushed forward the tie rail. We made a wall of about 6 inches to keep the feed in the manger area. The tie rail position could not be moved forward at the maximum because we needed to allow the clearance necessary for the passage of the TMR feeder. For the dividers, we put one between each cow, so each cow really has her individual space. So length was already 72 inches, so we left it as such. We have not modified the width of the stalls. We have stalls that range from 4 feet to 5 feet and we position the animals according to their size. We chose to change the base of the stall and decided to put mats in half of the stalls and mattresses in the other half. It is also important not to change the amount of bedding to put enough all the time and not to neglect this aspect. Lunch space has been much improved. The cows get up more easily. Instantly after the renovations, we notice that the cows lie down immediately after milking. Their resting time is longer and they are all lying down at the same time. No, the changes would not necessarily have the same results if we did the same for all the farms. We must adapt to the farm and adapt to the current facilities to allow animals to have a good comfort. We are convinced that it is worth making changes for animal welfare, to be ready and have good plans, and to make changes well adapted to our work environment.